Hello, I'm Steve with Touch of the Master's Hand, Holy Spirit Ministries. I wanted to talk today about a message that kind of I want to get going here, but it's called Christ in You, the Hope of Glory. Um, long, long story, but I heard this message started to be preached in the 80s um, at a little church called Ladder Rain Holiness in Preston Road in, in Dallas. Um, but the Lord's been dealing with me about this, and I just kind of want to give you some scriptures to start with it, you know, kind of, you know, it could take a while to unpack this, I'm not going to be able to do it all in one video, it's going to be over a period of time, but Colossians 1, 27, 2, 2 Corinthians 3, 7, to 3, 17, Highlighting 3.13, Matthew 27.50, Ephesians 1.3-6, Ephesians 2.1-10, Revelation 5, John 17.15, Judges 7.2, Psalms 50 15 and 23 2 Corinthians 3 17 1 1 Peter 4 7 through 12 Matthew and then the, these three Matthew 17 John 17 2 and Luke 17 2 um, the Lord inspired me to write a book but how were his glory so I'm it's going to take me several months to put it together and I'm going to write it write it out and it you know, send it off for free. Once I get it, it's going to be a few months down the road. Um, there's already another free book you can get that the Lord inspired me to write about visions. But the one about His glory, about how we're His glory, Moses has to see God's glory. And he only saw part of it. But Jesus was His glory. That was His plan. That we, once we accept Jesus into his, his heart, can become His glory on this earth. That city that's set upon a hill, a bright and shining light in this lost and dying world, portraying Him. Uh, it's taking, you know, there's a lot to it, or can be, and that's why I said it's going to take a while to unpack. But I gave you the scriptures to kind of just maybe get you in that direction. Um, it's just he wants us to be like him he wants his he called us to be his sons and daughters to be his glory on this earth that no man can get the glory that's the, one of the scriptures that I gave you was about Gideon and how he told Gideon he had too many too many soldiers because he didn't want the children of Israel to think that they won the battle on their own he doesn't want man to get glory he wants to get the glory so you know there's a dying out process that involves a surrendering um, just all the many things that are involved in us letting Christ live in us being those vessels God, Jesus, and the Holy Ghost, I want to dwell in you. His plan was Jesus for the salvation of mankind. That's his glory. You know, the the seventeen two, John Matthew seventeen two, John seventeen two, and Luke seventeen two. I had a dream about five months ago. And in this dream the Lord said that was a message for this hour. And now it's kind of all fitting into place about the glory. The 17.2 is about the transfiguration. He shone brightly. Um, but then God said, "He, this is my son in whom I'm well pleased. It's a whole, whole, whole lot to that part of the message, piece of the message, of some depth to it. But then in 17.2 in John, it talks about us being his glory and how he 
Jesus talks about glorifying the Father, how He glorifies Him, and then how the people that He's given to Him wants them to glory, wants them to be the glory too. It just kind of breaks it down into how we're His glory. So, anyhow, I'm not going to, you know, I'm going to make this message brief and short, but um, it's going to be over a period of the next few weeks that I'm going to kind of break down more of it. It's just time for us to shine, to be that bride, you know? People that have a lot of money when they get married, or if they're wealthy, have these awesome big huge weddings kind of like Prince Charles or whatever his name was you know I mean they just all this pomp and circumstance because they're proud of their bride that's the glory we're God's glory when Jesus lives in us we're his sons he's calling us into his glory but not for us to glow or be prideful or be caught up in any kind of fleshly realm because it's in the spirit guys I'm probably going to just maybe make some more messages because I'm going to make them all brief and short so that you guys can just you know um, tune in and you know people don't like long messages it seems like so anyhow but just one last brief brief portion the Lord's been dealing with me I've got a lot of different cities, states, even some countries. It give me dreams about different places. But started about a year and a half ago. Started out with this little town called Italy, Texas. Sent us all. We just came back from seven days. I'm alive in Dallas. He told me to go to Normal, Illinois. We spent seven days over the Fourth of July weekend with the Stillwater, Oklahoma. But it's all these different places. But he highlighted one of the cities called Mount Vernon, and. He told me how beautiful is the glory of my people. He told me to go to the nurse, a nursing home up there. And I, we picked three out of like ten of them. Um, and he said, how beautiful is the glory of my people. So he wants us to be a glorious church, a glorious bride, full of glory. Christ knew the hope of glory. We're his glory, guys. So let's manifest, portray Jesus. King of Kings. It's a journey. Mine's been 38 years to get here. So, anyhow, we love you guys. Um, please watch some of my other videos. Share them with other people. Um, you can email me at steveyoungstrom at yahoo.com if you you know got any report comments on my channel. Kind of interact that way too. That's fine. Um, or email me. I got send you a copy of the free book that I wrote about the visions. It's called Visions and Writings. So, a promise, hope, and a future for America. Um, and then in a couple months, I'm gonna have this book out, Christ in You, the Hope of Glory. I'm, just, you know, a little feel. I just praying about it a lot and seeking God's help in it, so that I can put this together in the right context. But we love you guys. Appreciate you tuning in. Um, I'm gonna try to put a few more messages out today. So just kind of stay tuned. Christ in You, the Hope of Glory. There's a lot to it. But the main just and the direction I want you to see is where his glory. He wants a glorious church, a, a bride without spot, blemish, or wrinkle. So, time for us to stand up, portray Jesus to this lost and dying world, especially the religious bunch in America. <coughs> needs to know about Jesus. So we love you guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in.